17 of August today, 2011. The time now is about 6.50 and I'm in Beijing Railway Station. And I carried all my stuff from the hostel here. It's just so tiring. Alright, so now I'm waiting in uh, waiting area number 4. Just waiting for my, my time to go in to the train. Alright? Europe very soon. Okay, so I finally made it. I finally managed to carry all my stuff to this <coughs> platform. Uh, this is platform 9 uh, in Beijing Railway Station and behind me is the train that I'll be taking for six days all the way from Beijing to Moscow in Russia. And so this leg of my journey will bring me to Europe. So I'm very excited, even though I'm, we are going to be on a train for six days, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but um, I know I'm going to have fun. Alright, so I'll see you inside the train, and I'll see you when I reach Moscow. And by the way, I'll be uh, going through Mongolia and all the different parts uh, of uh, Russia until I reach uh, Moscow. So let me show you the first class train. My room. Georgia, you know that you've been on my mind. Ooh, and I found something very important. I found a wall socket, a power socket here. This is very important. Right. Otherwise, I would not be able to charge all my gadgets and stuff, right? If you have noticed just now, the ensuite uh, bathroom doesn't have a toilet, doesn't have the toilet bowl. So if you need to do some business, you have to walk here, and this is the toilet. Can you see? That's in Russian, the one below the Chinese characters. That's so this is the toilet. We both learned to compromise. I'll be there for you when everybody's coming unclued. I'll be there for you. I won't see you have to choose. Yeah, cause I don't want to let you go. station and I'm off the train because uh, we're going to wait here for about 2-3 hours so I'm going to take a walk in the station. They say there is this uh, shop they can buy some uh, snacks and water and stuff but I don't think I need to buy any because I have stocked up enough and I think more than enough. Alright, so I'm not going to spend any more money on this trip. And oh, did I mention that uh, this is the immigration uh, checkpoint where they took our passports and they're going to have it chopped. So that's the reason why we are waiting here. And uh, I also think that they're going to change the tracks of the train or something like that because uh, the Mongolian uh, railway uh, track is uh, slightly different from the one in China. So they're going to change the wheels of the carriage. So I'm going to wait here for a while. Okay, time now, it's about 11 o'clock and, and it's time to go back to the train. 
Alright, but I'm not sure what time the train will actually leave this place. Everybody just walking to the train. You can hear the noise, the horn from the train. And I believe that the wheels of the train has been changed. And we are heading to Mongolia. Okay, time now is 1.45 and I have received my passport from the Mongolian immigration officer. So now I'm a happy man, so I need to prepare to sleep, wash my, wash my face, brush my teeth and all that. And oh, the train is moving now. So, yeah, I'm happy. So I can rest for the night. Good night, everybody. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's the 18th of August 2011 and the time now it's 9.15 a.m. and uh, I'm in some part of Mongolia not exactly sure which station I'm at um, but just now um, we went through the Gobi Desert and I think I'm still in some part of the Gobi Desert alright and uh, yeah I just woke up and you can see behind me uh, there are actually some buildings, some structures uh, there and so this is Mongolia all right so later um, at about 1.30 we we're gonna reach uh, Ulaanbaatar which is the capital of Mongolia and then uh, I'll just show you a little bit more all right when we reach there because I have no idea what to expect as well so um, let me have my breakfast first all right so let me eat I bought some bread so <sighs> I'm hungry <laughs> houses behind me that people stay in brick houses here in Mongolia and uh, of course people still uh, live in tents and all that um, wow look at that it's like this you know it's like the the, the conception that uh, all of us have that you know we come to think of Mongolia you know they stay in Mongolian tents and, and stuff like that and of course the other thing that comes to mind uh, when you mention Mongolia it's actually Genghis Khan and uh, I was talking to a fellow a Chinese traveler from China and uh, he, he mentioned that uh, the place where Genghis Khan started uh, his uh, army and his troops and all that uh, was actually uh, is actually in this place that is uh, east of Ulaanbaatar right, it's the eastern side of uh, Ulaanbaatar and uh, Ulaanbaatar is the capital of Mongolia uh, where our train is heading towards now so uh, these are the places you can see uh, there are actually tents and um, houses here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and uh, the train has stopped at some station here in Mongolia and I'm gonna have my lunch and it's gonna be cup noodles and a canned food of minced meat all right so this is my lunch in my cabin It's a lot greener, and uh, you can see there are a lot more um, places that has water, there's a lake, you know. So, um, this is the place, and it's so beautiful. It's so different from uh, where we were just now. So 
surprise, surprise, surprise. This is Mongolia. And uh, I'm really quite surprised that uh, this area called Ulaanbaatar is actually quite well built up. And lots of buildings, lots of uh, restaurants and stuff. Uh, it has become quite touristy as well. I uh, see lots of tourists uh, coming to this place. And uh, this is the Ulaanbaatar sta uh, station. And the time now is about 1.25. And uh, I just got off the train just to take some photos and the video. Right, so it's really quite uh, it's quite an eye opener for me to say the least. Right, so you can see the city behind me, uh, lots of buildings, lots of people as well. did my best to be healthy even though I'm on the train and uh, I do my best to eat healthy alright so I cut myself some vegetable soup <laughs> see, vegetable soup and uh, this is my tea break alright <laughs> Time now, it's 8 o'clock and you can still see that the sky is uh, still bright. The uh, sun is actually setting as we speak. So uh, it's very beautiful outside, uh, the sunset and all that. And now for my dinner, I'm having cup noodles again. But this time around, I'm having unagi. <laughs> I have canned uh, eel. Now can you imagine, the time now is 8.45 p.m. and the sun here has not set. And uh, it's still setting. Uh, but uh, the view is still quite nice. I uh, just wanted to show you that the sun in Mongolia, in this part of Mongolia at least, sets very late. the uh, Mongolia border soon and then we will reach Russia. Time now it's 10.50 Singapore time and Beijing time. Uh, um, it's actually 6.50 Moscow time. So right now I'm in uh, the Russian border. Um, the immigration officer just took my passport. So uh, let's wait. And uh, they checked my room again and uh, just now the immigration officer was just looking at my photo in my passport and looking at me for quite a while so <laughs> I'm not sure uh, why he did that and he smiled at me so I smiled back <laughs> it's just weird uh, alright so I just wait for my passport to be returned to me